Hello all. As many of you are aware, the wildfires on the West Coast continue to spread. But I really wanted to touch on an acronym that you've probably heard a little more recently in the news, and that's AQI, our Air Quality Index. As well as the immediate damage caused, the smoke from the fire has major impacts on people's health through the inhalations of particles. The smoke contains gases and vapors and particles that can stay in the air for long periods of time. They have the ability to travel long distances, affecting communities far away from the actual wildfire. They can travel huge distances, affecting communities a long way away from the actual wildfire. In several areas, the air quality index showed regions where pollution has had levels go above 500. Anything above 200 is considered unhealthy or hazardous. And in some places in California, those levels have reached 700. But what exactly does this mean? The EPA establishes an AQI for five major pollutants regulated by the Clean Air Act. Each of these pollutants have a national air quality standard set by the EPA to protect public health. Those are ground level ozone, particle pollution, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen dioxide. If we think of AQI as a yardstick, the higher the AQI level, the greater the level of air pollution, and the greater health concern. Below 50, it's good. Above 150, the sensitive individuals of the community start to be affected. Doesn't that sound familiar with COVID? Anything above 300 is considered hazardous. And let's also not forget about what COVID has already done with the threat to our respiratory system. As I mentioned earlier, there are areas in California where that AQI is well above 300, reaching to 700. The particles generated from burning trees and shrubs are very harmful to causing damage to the lungs and possibly your heart. Along with carcinogens like carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, and formaldehyde, they are all found in wildfire smoke as well. Doesn't that sound familiar? Yeah, that's right. The same toxins that are found in tobacco are also found in wildfire smoke. If you are directly affected or downwind, please stay safe. From all the advice that I've seen, they are advising people to stay inside and wear a mask and a N95 mask, and we all know how hard those are to get a hold of right now. We are with you, stay safe. What's good for business, it's good for the environment.